Hey guys, today I'm starting this video super late, so it's probably going to be really short. There's not much that I have that I'm going to be doing because we've been out shopping all day, which I told you guys that we were going to be shopping. But, well, not all day, but anyway, part of the day. We've been shopping. That's all we've done. And, um, whatever I didn't do today, we'll just do later. We went to Arby's for dinner, too. So, we went to several different stores, and I'm going to show you what we got from the stores. Most of the things came from Walmart, though. Um, today we went to do the annual ornament shopping and do to pick out our Christmas pajamas because we've everybody's just picked out their own since the kids were older which it was very weird this year because Selena wasn't there and she's not participating so that was odd it was not happy times anyways I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what we got and yeah show you what I got what we got Okay, so it's kind of all mixed up. So this middle stuff right here is um, from two different stores, and then all around it's from Walmart. So these two things we got from Michaels, they had a sale, and I'm going to be using a big Happy Planner next year, so I needed some big books for Happy Planners. I don't have any stickers, really, for big Happy Planners. So while they were on sale, I went ahead and grabbed this Ingrid Blooms, which is a lot of flowers, and I'll do a flip through sometimes if you sometime if you guys want me to. And then this is a color story um, one, and I don't know what year these are from. That one is from. Usually it has a year on it. It doesn't. Twenty twenty one, and this is twenty twenty two. So I guess that's the lady who Ingrid Sanchez. So, I guess that's something they're doing that I didn't know about. Alright, so that we got from there, from Michaels. And these we got from Hobby Lobby. These are our ornaments. Noah picked this one because he and I have been playing Fallout quite a bit. And they use some revolvers. So, he got that one just because he thought it was fun. Jeff picked this hunting lodge. Um, I thought it was cute too. And so, he got that one. It says hunting lodge with the bear there. Is that a hair? Yes, or something, a string or something. And I got this one that says, Holy Night, Oh Holy Night, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, Luke 2 11. And it's got a manger scene on the bottom. It's not focusing, there it goes. But there's that. So that's what we got from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to show you the stuff we got from Walmart. We got some candy canes because we haven't gotten any candy canes the whole year. And I wanted to get the regular like the regular size ones. They didn't have those. They didn't have the big ones. This is the only ones they had. And I, I think, was there any more boxes of these? We didn't see any more boxes of these. So they didn't have any more mint, peppermint flavor. They had other flavors, just not peppermint. Which, I don't know why they have all the flavors, but they do. Alright, we got some Twix. And then we got this for mine and Jeff's tree um, because we're probably going to need some more ribbon because it's a bigger tree. And this is for Jeff. Is this a Christmas present or just because, Jeffrey? You're light. Well, um, some things we go ahead and let him pick out or we, we know what we're getting some of it. It doesn't matter. Um, but is this a Christmas present or not? It don't matter. We don't know. It probably is. All right, and then and we got this for Noah because stuffer. a stocking stuffer. Will it fit in your stocking? Probably. Anyways, um, he's got a big beard. He he's not in here, so I can't show you. But he's got a big beard, like the sides of his beard's not growing in as thick as the chin part. So we got this for him. Um, it's a booster beard growth with accelerating topical serum. It's a lot of, like it's got castor oil in it and it's got a lot of different kinds of essential oils. So we thought it'd be fun. We stick it in the stocking. This we just got because he needed some more deodorant. This is for Noah. And then Jeff needed some more aftershave. He's used this aftershave. How many years have you used this? A very, very long time. <laughs> All right, and then this is for Noah for Christmas because me and his daddy both have a coast flashlight they have a lifetime warranty they are more expensive but they are awesome jeff has not well some of them they are rechargeable and other ones are not um but we have the rechargeable kinds but this one is it rechargeable oh no is this one even rechargeable 
He may not want this one. We may have to take this one back because it says it has six batteries. The one like mine we were looking at is rechargeable, but Jeff has one that's rechargeable and he has not charged it in a year and he uses it a lot. But they're dust resistant and storm proof. Uh, but this one is super bright and everything, but he may not want it if it's not rechargeable. But then again, he may. It's a nice flashlight. All right. So the, another thing we got is I got some more of this eggnog. I said I only drink it once a year. It's okay if it's got the things that I don't, that are not, that I'm trying to cut out of my life. I don't drink it every day, so it's fine. It's a treat one time of the year. All right, got some bananas because you know the other day I couldn't get any fruit because it was all gross. And Noah saw this guy and he liked it, so we got him. He lights up. Um, I just pushing the little try me thing. It's kind of hurts your finger but anyway the, we got that he said to stick it under a tree we may stick it under our tree in our room all right and this is the pajamas jeff got i think this is the same kind he got last year but i can't remember i don't think i ever showed y'all that before and then this is what noah got he usually gets like jogging pants or either either that jogging pants and a t-shirt or else he gets like pajama pants and t-shirt but he got super mario t-shirt and it's got Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi on there. And he got the Naruto, Naruto, Naruto I can't say it. Um, ramen is the best pleasure. It's the ramen Ichiraku. I could be saying this wrong. He could probably tell me better. But anyway, he got those pants. Um, they're the same brand as the pants that he got the other, we got him the other day that are the, Chev the Camaro pants. And he liked those, so he... He thought that would work and it, we don't he doesn't care if it doesn't match he liked it and this is what i got i hung it up here because i didn't know where else to put it because it didn't have any more space on the table i've never had this brand before but it's super soft and it's got pants with pockets and it's got a pocket there jeff and noah both said it fits my character so that's what i got i hung it up here where we're drying noah's shoes um we did have jeff's work jacket up there drying it too but anyway i'm gonna put all this stuff up and then i think i'm gonna bake a cake with you guys or i don't know we may put up mine and jeff's tree we're gonna figure it out in a minute and you will know in a second okay so today is monday and i'm supposed to clean the bathroom so i'm gonna do that real quick just the sink and the toilet uh and then i'll do the shower before i get in but um later on but i'm gonna clean that real quick because uh, well, it was clean last week. I didn't do it, but it doesn't matter. Jeff cleans good, too. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is it needs to be done. Even though I don't really want to do it, it needs to be done. So I'm going to clean the sink and the toilet. And then I think after that, I'm going to bake the cake. Um, Jeff is probably going to go to bed soon because his shift changes. Well... It would have changed today, but he was off today for vacation day. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to clean it up and let y'all listen to some music or something. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, Stillness fills the night It's Christmas A winter wonderland A snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this Past year, oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in piles Take me away 
Christmas Day. into something cooler more comfortable because some people say jeans are comfortable they're not comfortable to me I mean they're okay but they're not as comfortable as a dress or something else I don't know so I changed clothes and then I did the dishes Jeff's gonna hand wash some stuff I think I don't know he might be going to sleep over there are you okay and I'm going to try the tea for today it is where did it, I just saw it. I lost it. I just saw it. It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom, y'all. I don't know about it. I did look it up a little bit, but I didn't look up much about it. Where did it go, though? There it is. It's Tamela. Oh, no. Tremella Tulsi. And it is from a mushroom. It says, aromatic Tulsi with hints of spice accented by various cardamom. No, precious cardamom. I can't even read. Is enhanced with a shimmering snow mushroom, Tremella, to support beauty from the inside out. So, it's got carob pods, chicory, Tulsi leaves, um, let's see, dandelion root, Tremella extract, and cardamom, cardamom seed, cardamom seeds, and cardamom flavor. So, we're going to see. I'm going to taste it. I don't have any half and half in here, though, because it's out in the other refrigerator, so I may end up just putting a little bit of milk. No, no, I can't. We don't have any milk in here, either. I may have to go get it while this is, or get Noah to go get it while this is steeping. Um, I also threw, no, that's not true. Jeff threw some clothes in the washer. He swapped some over, threw those in the washer while I was doing other stuff. And I put the stuff in to clean it. I'm not going to say I did it because he did it. He did the throwing it in there. I did the throwing the detergent and stuff in there. Um, I can't get it open. I cut it this time. And for whatever reason, couldn't get it to work right. What does that smell? I don't know what that smell is. It smells like something. But it's the Tremella Mushroom, Mushroom Herbal Tea. I've already got my water hot. And I'm going to pour this in. Oop, I almost flipped the thing out. There we go. That's probably too much water again. Dunk it a little bit. But, um, this one has, it says prebiotic, acid-free, caffeine-free, and gluten-free. But... I'm not going to do what I've been doing is sitting down at the desk and telling y'all about the stuff because 
I don't know. I actually, whenever I started recording tonight, I was like, what am I going to do for the video? Because I want to share with y'all what I'm doing, but I haven't done anything at home today. Then I was like, wait a minute, I got to clean stuff. So, you're getting to watch me clean while you're listening to some happy music. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this steep and get the stuff I need. Also, the little thing behind the tea today, there's a little thing, a little saying behind every, every day. Spread joy today. Carry out a small act of kindness without expecting anything in return. I kind of did do that because the girl at Arby's where we went to eat, I don't know, I didn't do it on purpose, but anyway, she was um, new and she was nervous, so I tried to encourage her. Maybe I did that without trying, but anyway, Noah's in here, so I'm going to ask him something. Okay, so I'm going to try the shroom tea. It's really not what it is, but anyway, this is the Tramella Tulsi. Or is it Tulsi Tramella? I don't know. One or the other. What I said the first time. Let me look at it again because I want to say it right. Tramella Tulsi. Okay. Yeah. That was right. Um, I'm going to try that one. Noah said it smelled earthy whenever he smelled it. I asked him did he want to try it after I did. And he said yeah, he wanted to try it. He may or may not. I don't know. But he did say it smelled. He said it smelled earthy, but it smelled nice. So I'm going to try it without any kind of cream. No half and half. No nothing like that. Just water and tea. Yeah. Like the others, I don't think it's going to need any sweeter sweetener. I don't know if it's because of the cardamom or what, but it kind of tastes a little bit like the yesterday's. But it's got some other flavor in it too. I'm going to put some half and half, and then I'm going to try it again with a half and half in it because I feel like it does need that. But I don't think it needs sweetener. If I can open it. Hey, this is a Dairy Fresh brand too. You just don't see Dairy Fresh anymore. It used to be a really big thing around here. Like it was a, the more expensive milk and stuff. Now it's cheaper or whatever, I guess. Put that in there. Put it behind the milk. I'll put that put up later. It's a pretty color. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm drinking out of a regular mug again. Noah! Yeah, you wanna try it? Mm. Uh, it's mushroom tea. Mushroom tea? Yep. Do you wanna try it? Mm, yes, sir. Oh, he's gonna try it. It's so surprising. I'm surprised. He made me out to be a liar. I didn't think he'd try any of them. Do what? <laughs> Noah! Do you want to try this? I may not have any left if I let y'all try it. Let me wash my hands. Please. Thank you. I'll do the sink. Um, you don't have to clean it. Unless you just want to. I'm not going to complain. It's hot now. I'm just saying. You got fuzz in your hand. Hold on, your daddy's gonna try it, then you can try it if you want to. What you sniffing? I don't know, I want to. Try it. Be brave. <laughs> do you wanna come over here or do you wanna stand there? Nope, okay. It's hot. Don't spill it. No spillage. What'd you think, Jeffrey? What's up with y'all sniffing it? 
I sniffed it too. <laughs> Come on, man. That is about close to nothing. <laughs> about as close to nothing? What do you think? Well, it's exactly as I thought. It tastes earthy. <laughs> and by that I mean dirt. Tastes like dirt? Does not taste like dirt. You have a preconceived notion. No, it doesn't taste like dirt. It doesn't, okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to taste good. You tried it. it. Tastes like dirt to him. And it tastes like nothing to Jeff. I don't know what it tastes like to me. It tastes, um. Okay, because I've tasted all of them so far. Like, this is the fifth one kind of have an idea of some of the like the chicory flavor and stuff so I can kind of ignore that part and get the other parts um so far I don't think this is one I would want again but I'm gonna drink it all because like there's been a couple of them like yesterday's I liked it all right at first but then I was like nah this is not fabulous and I, I don't know if it's because it got cold or what, or cooler. It didn't get cold. It never was cold. It was still warm, but not, you know. But this one. It needs something else. It's like, it, it's. I don't know what. But if it was for my health, I would drink it for sure. Because it's not, like, bad. But Jeff doesn't like it. Noah thinks it tastes like dirt. Come taste it again, Jeffrey. No, y'all. But seriously, though, I said he's burnt out his taste buds because he can drink, he can eat anything that's like spicy hot. Won't burn him. Won't bother him. Me, I'm over there dying. <laughs> he he doesn't taste things that I taste. So I don't know. Maybe he's not getting the full effect. I don't think it's my favorite. It's about half gone. I don't think it's my favorite. But it's not terrible. But I don't know that I would. It'd be one of those I would drink if I, that was what my choice was for something with flavor. That kind of thing. So it's okay. So far. We'll see by the time I get to the end of it. But I'm going to go ahead and set myself up for making the cake. And then while the cake is baking, because it takes it's a pound cake, so it's going to take a while. While it's baking, I'm going to turn on my washing machine. That way it's not a lot of noise for you guys. And then my clothes, I can finish them tomorrow. I can throw them in the dryer tonight and fold them tomorrow. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna set myself up for the cake. Okay, so I'm about to start the pound cake. It is an eggnog pound cake. And I know y'all can't see it on my whole head or whatever. But anyway, it came from callmepmc.com. I will leave a link to the recipe down below. It's not my recipe, so I'm not going to tell you the exact amount of everything. But it says it takes an hour and 35 minutes to make it. It makes this, It makes 16 slices. It says a luscious, a luscious pound cake this recipe for eggnog pound cake celebrates the season with a crowd-pleasing ingredient. Eggnog adds a luxurious flavor and creaminess to the cake. It's buttery, soft inside, with a crispy outside and top. I love pound cakes with a crispy outside. So I have in here um, some butter, and I'm going to go ahead and cream that. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the butter because I did not have it any of it that was thawed it was all frozen well no i didn't have enough that was thawed so actually let me cream this real quick and then i'm going to move the camera so i can y'all can see inside the bowl but i'm gonna cream this and that way you don't have to hear the mixer as much which is not terribly loud but still i'll be right back okay so y'all can see inside the bowl a little bit better now hopefully anyway i have a, one of the little silicone mats under my bowl to try to help me whenever um actually i got stuff i moved this to get it so that i wouldn't have it in the way of the camera but i have it in the way of my hand so this bowl is a little tall so let me stop saying so and let me get to this 
this going. So I got my butter. Um, I got it creamed. Also, I have my oven preheated to 325. I have a bunt pan. You can use a bunt pan or a tube pan. Pan. I can't speak English. I have it floured. I use Baker's Joy. Greased and flour is what it says, but I use Baker's Joy, which is always good. Works good for me anyway. It does say to use a stand mixer, but I'm using my hand mixer. Um, and I think it'll be fine. It's just a little bit more work because you have to use your arms and stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So I've got that creamed up until smooth. Now I'm going to add the sugar and, and cream it together and, um, you know, do that part. Every Christmas, baby, reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the press, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, the snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile at the last of the year. Every There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's good. And now I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and I'm going to beat after each one. Because y'all know that I always like to do my eggs um, one, I like to crack them one at a time anyway because of shells and also you may get a bad egg. And I would rather get a shell in this extra bowl, which I do have another bowl there. I would rather get a shell in this than in this because it'd be much easier to get it out of that one little thing than the whole mix here. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true.
So, I never thought about it, but pound cake should have a whole lot of protein because there's a lot of eggs in there. So now what I need to do is add the flour and eggnog alternatively to this mixture beginning and ending with the flour. So I'm gonna put a little bit of each as I go and just, I've got my flour in a bowl and I've got my eggnog in a measuring cup. And one thing, another thing that surprises me about this, this is all purpose flour. There's no raising agents. So I guess the eggs and I guess the eggs do it. I don't know. down the sides of this and get that incorporated too. It's not much on the sides, but I want to get all of it. And I'm going to put it into my pan. It's a really thick mixture, but most pound cakes are. Got the best of me, then it starts to snow 
prepare okay bake for one hour and 15 minutes bake for one hour oh wait, why does it say it twice test cake for doneness by inserting a wooden pick into the thickest part of the cake the cake is done when no crumbs or dry crumbs remain on the pick cool in the pan for 20 different 25 minutes before inverting onto a serving tray to cool completely store an airtight container on the countertop three to four days <laughs> and it won't last that long but anyway i'm putting it in there for an hour and 15 minutes but i'm gonna put it on there actually for an hour test it in the end if it needs it i'll do the other 15. it smells yummy I'll be back whenever something at some point okay so I've taken the cake out of the oven I did leave it in there for an extra five minutes because um, it was still not quite done so you're supposed to leave it in the pan for 20 to 25 minutes and then you put it on whatever your serving dish plate whatever Jeffrey is wanting to get into it now but I told him he had to wait <laughs> not mean it has to sit there I don't know why exactly but it does but it rose a lot it rose way up out of there um it looks good so how do you know it tastes good he licked the toothpick okay so <laughs> that's what it looks like I will let y'all know what it tastes like tomorrow because we're not going to be tasting it while I'm still filming. Okay. I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. Um, because I hadn't started editing or anything. Jeff, you do want a piece, right? Yeah. The top of it is crispy. Which I like it. How big of a piece you want? He's getting this size. If he wants more, he'll have to get it later. Like one of my average slices. I don't know what an average slice is. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? Tasted it. Here, you want to film you? Yes, no, do you mind? This probably my slice? Yeah. Same my average slice. Oh, what's your average slice, sir? Like a, you know, like a quarter? A quarter of the cake? Yeah. Quarter pound. Since that's a pound of cake. This is a quarter of a pound. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is way up there. They saw it. I showed it to them. Taste it. Tell them what you think. What? Moist. It's supposed to be moist. Hot. What's that mean? It ain't no good. <laughs> it ain't no good. Why are you telling them that lie? I'm gonna have my own. That's yours. What kind is this? I don't know. What kind is it? I don't know. What's it taste like? Cake. <laughs> good cake. Eggnog. Yeah. It's eggnog. eggnog pound cake. But good eggnog. You don't like eggnog. You've eaten 
almost all of it. <laughs> Do a little bit. So you like it? Huh? What you think? Like seriously? Oh, piece. You want? How big of a piece do you want? About the same size, just some woods. Woods. Yeah, it was. Oh no, <gasps> it's falling apart. You want that piece? So it's good. Mm -hmm. You gone? Uh huh. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm about to get it hadn't been opened yet. He ain't right. Anyways, I just want to tell y'all, it's good, he says. And I had a little nibble off of what they just had. It was good. <laughs> off of what fell off. So, I recommend trying this. I don't know if it tastes like eggnog or not, but I may have to fix me some coffee or something. Nope. No? Why not? I'm talking about don't take like no eggnog. Uh oh. I thought he was saying I couldn't have coffee. Oh, really? <laughs> you can yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, now back to the outro. I've got the clothes washing. The dishwasher's not completely full. Um, I don't know what else I can share with y'all tonight because it got started super duper late and I'm not doing anything else other than going over stuff for Bible study tomorrow or actually it's your today. But that's the only thing I have left that I'm going to be doing. But I won't be able to share that with y'all because I can't. I don't know how to share studying <laughs> or reading or whatever. So I guess that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link the pound cake down below. It smells delicious. Um, the last pound cake that I made was a cream cheese pound cake. Let me get away from this washing machine. It's loud. Jeffrey, are we doing anything else we can share with them? No, I'm gonna shower. I don't really want to be in a shower with them. Mm, nah, we won't let them be in a shower with you. That'd be weird. I'm gonna sit it there. Is it gonna hold up there? No, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I had to turn the camera off so I could fix the tripod. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, we're not doing anything else that we share. Like, I have to edit the video, which I can't share editing the video because I'll be editing the video that you're watching. I don't know how to do that. Like, record while editing from the same SD card. It's just not possible. Um, so, yeah. Today was a little bit different. A little bit of a haul. A little bit of cake. And a little bit of cleaning. And we put the gnome over there. He's lit up. Um... So, he's just going to hang out under the Christmas tree. And tomorrow, Jeff starts a different shift. So, we've decided that we've never done this before. Because used to, we would, like, I would cook our main meal for the family meal at lunchtime. And then, a few years ago, or about two years ago probably, that changed slowly it like gradually changed to where i was just cooking maybe about a year ago i don't know anyway i was cooking like supper time and then it probably changed whenever noah started coming home for lunch or his lunch break that's when it changed so i would just cook my, the main meal at dinner time and then fix me and jeff something else or sometimes he would just eat a sandwich or whatever before he went to work or he would have leftovers, whatever like that. But we've decided that we're going to have a menu plan for whenever he is working for lunch and dinner. Um, some days it may be the same exact thing because um, it's something like a casserole or something and we can eat it twice or whatever. It'll be bigger. It'll be big enough that we can do that. But tomorrow I will probably share what we have for mine and Jeff's meal together and then what Noah and I are having for our meal together. So it'll be two meals for those days. But for this month, he only has four, 
five more days of work? Six more days? I don't know, I'll have to look. He's working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. I can't get this thing to work because of the, whatever it's called. Ah, I had it and then I dropped it. All right, so he has three personal days that he never took throughout the year. And I've told y'all about how he does his personal days. He saves them. But um, he has four, five more days of work. Possibly six. Because they're talking about him working this coming Saturday. And he said he'd just use a personal day for that. So he could be off that Saturday. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. They may change it. They change all the time. So he only has a few more days left of this year that he has to work. Because he has vacation time, personal days, and then their regular shutdown that they do every December. And he goes back to work. When do you go back to work? After the shutdown. Uh, so they added a day to it, so it'll be a, a third. But they added a day? I didn't know that. See, I don't even know what happens. Things just happen, and I don't even know. Yeah, first shift got second. What now? First shift got second. First shift has to go in the second, and y'all have to go in the third? Because your second shift. Okay. And he still has not found out anything else about the other shift. The shift swapping or whatever. So, we don't know about that either. But, whenever I figure it out, I'll let y'all know. Because I'll either be super happy or super upset. <laughs> because if they put him on only thirds, he's, he's going to have to find a different job. <laughs> no, Walmart's laying off. Walmart is cutting hours. Usually at this time of the year, from what I heard, I don't know if it's really true or not. I've only heard one person say that Walmart was like cutting hours for people, and I can't remember who said that. I don't know. Maybe it's Walmart's in certain places. Maybe it's Walmart Distribution Center. I don't know, but I think Jessica and Justina work there. I don't know. I don't know what's what. I wish that years ago he would have started his own business and we could just had our own business and not had to think about anybody else or anything else like working for someone. Then we wouldn't have to worry about getting laid off or fired, which he's never done anything to get fired. And the only time he was laid off is because everybody was laid off. So he's a very good worker. He doesn't ever do anything wrong at work. Sometimes he should, right Jeffrey? Sometimes. Nope, never missed a day. He gets nothing for it either, except a little piece of paper. <laughs> I messed up the camera, but he's never missed a day of work there. You never missed a day at the other place, did you? And you were there for how long? Let's just say he's a very good worker and he does not miss days of work. And if you do, you know, because, I mean, he, whenever he was sick or something like that, he did. But he took a personal day, which is a sick day. Um, but that's been very rare. There's times whenever I told him he needed to stay home and he wouldn't do it. Because that's just who he is. But anyway, Jeffrey, are you cold? <laughs> He's always, he asked me earlier if I was cold. He's always cold. It's always been that way though. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I've talked for long enough. At least I think I have. I don't know. I've talked long enough that I don't know what else I'm saying and I'm repeating myself probably. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I don't know what I will be doing tomorrow other than the Bible study. I don't have any laundry to wash, but I will be folding clothes. Um, I don't think I have any to wash because that was all there was that I know of unless Noah's got some somewhere he didn't tell me about. Uh, let's see. The chore for tomorrow for Tuesday. I don't have it in this one. I don't have it. I may have it written down on my other part. I don't know. 
but I know I'm doing my Bible study. Oh, the floors. Which Jeff did do part of the floors whenever we were doing all the swapping stuff around. He did part of the floors on that day. But I'm going to do them all tomorrow. Well, the ones I can get to. That's the only thing is the floors tomorrow. The ones I can get to because we still have a bucket of Christmas or a container of Christmas stuff in here that we need to get out of here. I told him I didn't want it sitting there forever, but it's sitting there still. What? I know it's our tree. We need to put our tree up. When are we putting our tree up? I don't know if we'll have time to do it tomorrow. I don't want to do a little bit at a time. <laughs> yeah, we may not do outside. The only reason we do outside decorations is really for other people. It's not for us because we can't see them. Um, we see them whenever we come and go some, but we don't. We just do it for other people because I know we enjoy going to look at Christmas lights um of other people's christmas lights so we put lights out so yeah anyways i will see you guys tomorrow thank you for hanging out with me today um if you like this video go ahead and do all the youtube things if you don't know what the youtube things are go ahead and tell me in the comments and i will let you know if you didn't like it go ahead and do the youtube things anyway because you might like something that we do later because you never know what's going to happen on this channel I do lots of stuff. It's like cooking, cleaning, just sometimes home repairs, sometimes home organization, sometimes like grocery hauls and other hauls and uh, who knows what's and things. It's just whatever in our life that we decide to share. I also do Bible studies. Um, well, one Bible study right now at 2 p.m. Central Time on Tuesdays and starting the first of the year, there'll be another one on Thursdays at 2.30 p.m. Central Time and um, the day in the life vlog cleaning things there at 6 p.m. Central and on Thursday Friday no Friday Saturday and Sunday at 6 a.m. there's three planner videos so a lot a lot of things a lot that I put on my on YouTube about our lives still not everything though so and sometimes because of the things happening on the planner videos I talk about because sometimes some people just watch planner stuff but anyway sometimes it's repeated a little bit but I will see you guys tomorrow thank you for hanging out with me today and remember don't oh wait a minute leave me a comment tell me how you're doing I forgot my brain is hurting right now like literally I have a headache so <laughs> I can't I can't think so I will see y'all tomorrow thank you for hanging out with me today and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet